everybody, welcome to All Games and Old. I'm David Rodriguez. And I'm Hilary Rodriguez. And today we're going to do our first comparison video because we recently did a review of The Hunger, which I'll link to at the end of this video if you want to see more about that. But we want to compare it to the game Clank, which came out in 2016 from Renegade Studios, designed by Paul Denon. And the reason why I want to compare these two is because, you know, Clank obviously came out quite a few years before The Hunger did. The Hunger just released this year. And when it was kind of announced that The Hunger was coming out and that it was a deck building game and it had this push your luck element and you had to run out to somewhere and then come running back to survive, a lot of people were wondering, well, is this going to be just like Clank? I saw some people wondering if it was even just like a reskin of Clank with a vampire theme and what have you. And, you know, despite that concern, I got it anyway. And, um, you know, we have our thoughts on that, the full thoughts you can see in our review. But we wanted to make sure that we could talk to people about why one game might be more for them than the other, or why you might like both, or why you might hate both, I guess. <laughs> uh, hopefully that's... Talk about the... the similarities and the differences between the two. Exactly, exactly. Because there are definitely uh, some of both of those things. You know, to get down to the core of it, like I said, they are both deck building games with the push your luck element. You know, you're using your cards to get further out on a map of some sort. Um, they both have two-sided maps. They um, do. The... Uh, Clank map adds a little bit more options to it. The Hunger map just makes the difficulty level hard, harder. Yeah, and in the Hunger, there's a certain point you have to get back to at the end of the game, at, at the end of 15 turns. And if you don't, you basically burn to a crisp. And so depending on what side you're on, that point comes earlier. Even on the easier side, you lose points, but you don't just absolutely die if you don't make it to a certain point. There's, there's still a point you have to make it to, but you, can, uh, you have a little more leeway. Um, Clank is a little different in that there's not like the specific 15 turns. It's kind of dependent on the people you're playing with. You know, if you have mm -hmm. someone who isn't feeling very bra brave and they just want to run out, grab the first artifact, because you do have to get an artifact in that game to have anything count, and just get out as fast as they can, that's going to make your game a lot shorter and everyone else can't be as brave if they want to. With Clank, it's a lot more dependent on what other players are doing. Where Hunger, it's really just, it, you're in a way you're kind of playing against yourself and then just at the end of the game you see what the points are. Yeah, it's, um, I wouldn't go so far as to say that, that Hunger is a more solitaire experience. It's just that there's not, there's not nearly as much interaction. You know, it has the thing where if you land on them you can kind of push them in one direction or another. But there's not, uh, there's not too many things that can directly affect the other person other than maybe taking something that they had their eye on. Yeah. Whereas in Clank, there are some cards where it's like you do this thing and everyone else gets a certain number of Clank cubes, which is bad if you're not familiar. Like that makes your color cube go into this bag that can be pulled out uh, at certain times and then a dragon damages people if you if your cube is pulled out. It'll do damage to you, so you can basically die at any point in that game, pretty much. Yeah, that's I think that's the other major difference yeah. is that with Clank, you can die early on in the game and then be out of the game. Where with the hunger, you can still die, but you die at the end of the game, so you still are playing throughout the game. There's not somebody staying out, left out. Yeah, yes. So it is kind of different in that way. The other thing, if you're fairly familiar with deck builders, you know there's always like a, a resource of some sort you get. I mean, it's usually just sitting on the card. It's not necessarily something that you have a physical representation of. But uh, in the hunger, you, you really just have one, and that is your speed, and that's used for everything, whether you're moving or hunting. In Clank, um, I believe there's three, and, and maybe even four if you want to count the gold, which is a separate thing. Mm -hmm. You have the, you have, there's, there's cards that give you movement, there's cards that give you attack power, and there's skill points, which you use to purchase cards. And then, like I said, there's, there's gold, which you can use to purchase some other things, and then there are worth victory points at the end. For that reason, I feel like, you can tell me what you think about this, I feel like Clank is just maybe a, a smidge heavier game because of that. There are some more things to keep track of. There's more to Clank. I would say I'm more inclined to just, rather than it being a heavier game, I feel like Hunger is just a more straightforward game. There's not as many, like, like when you're moving around in Clank, you have to have a movement option in your hand. You, if you want to attack an animal, you have to have attack. Where with the hunger, you basically get to decide what you want. If you want to move, if you want to attack, you get to decide. You basically just have this whole lot of points, and you decide how you want to delegate those points out. 
Yeah, that, that's true. It, it is kind of, it's just, it's less different things to think about. Like, you don't have to buy this one card because, in in The Hunger, I should say, because, oh, I really need that specific resource or what have you. Whereas, whereas Clank, it's like, okay, did I get enough swords that I can maybe go down this area? Did I get enough movement that I can come back? There's, I, I feel like Clank just has a lot more planning you have mm -hmm. to do. You really have to be thinking down the line, being like, okay, I, I really am going to need to go this path. And with that path, there's a lot of monsters, so I better make sure I've got swords. And I feel like that is somewhat less true with the hunger, where it's more like, okay, like I have to watch out because I have these cards that can maybe negatively affect my movement. But yeah, the, I mean, yeah. the hunger can have a little bit of that depending on what <clears throat> missions you get. Mm -hmm, so it so it kind of can kind of vary from game to game because if you have a mission where like your goal is to get cer certain humans of a certain like house or class, then it then that's kind of similar where it's like okay, well I really need to collect humans of this class, so I need to focus on these cards. But again, it's like. You, but you can also get other missions and you can kind of alter it a little bit. You have a little bit more control over, over what you're doing, I feel like. I agree. Uh, you know, the, the way the two games handle things, I think both of them use, use their method of, of movement, I guess I would say, to, to really help. I think it helps me be drawn into the theme because in, in Clank, you know, you're, you're scrabbling through this like underground ridiculous layer. And, and so the fact that it's a little harder to move to me anyway, makes a lot of sense. And that there's like trickier you pass it. Maybe you can't go this way, but it's easier if you go the other way. All that kind of makes sense to me. Whereas in the hunger, the fact that you're this, you know, vampire, I, you know, sweeping out across the plains or whatever, trying to hunt people down. Um, I think it, I think they both do pretty well at, at capturing the feel of what they're, uh, what they're supposed to be, basically. Yeah. The other thing with movement with, between the two games is in The Hunger, you can move pretty much any direction you want. Mm, it, yeah. You're not restricted other than you like once you pick a direction for your, that turn, you have to keep going that way. Um, but on your very next turn, if you want to backtrack, you can backtrack. Um, where in Clank, there's some paths where you can only travel a certain way, so th which is represented by an arrow. So um, you might be able to get into a room, but using one path but you can't use that same path to get out of the room you have to so it can kind of make you go around in circles for sure now right now when we're talking we're just talking about the the basic like set of clank uh, i've never played clank in space i've heard it's a little different uh, so i can't compare it to that clank does have a lot of expansions um it even has you know spin-off things like there's the uh, there's a legacy game as well which i guess legacy aside just dealing with expansions there is currently today um, a lot more variety that you can find probably with Clank because there are so many different things you do. Even like the two different sides of the boards, it's it's a lot more different on the back of Clank than it is on the back of the Hunger. So even out of the box, there's a little more in, in that sense. I do... I, with that I, being said, though, like, because of the way the game is set up, I feel like I'm kind of playing the same game every time I play Clank. Yeah. Where with Hunger, because of the missions... <clears throat> I feel like I'm playing a different game every time I play Hunger. Yeah, I, I think it. I think it does good at um, at variety in that sense. Like it's really more. It's almost more that the aesthetic doesn't change as much. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the two sides of the boards in, in Hunger look very similar, unless you just really look down and like, oh yeah, there's like a negative twenty points on this spot on this side and not the other side. The two sides of Plank look much more different, and of course expansions are going to look different as well. But yeah, I think the the missions are really where a lot of the variety in The Hunger does mm -hmm. come from. And Clank is just a little different. Clank, it's more like, okay, this is probably the same setup you saw the last time you went out. You may not know what all the little treasures are, but you just never know anyway. And so maybe you're like, well, maybe this time I'll try, you know, going this route and, and getting down there this way, which is which is cool too. It's, it's just, a, I guess it's a different way the variety is presented and you know it's so you you kind of brought that up and i'm glad you did like i think well again i, I like both games a lot i think i like that the variety of the missions mm -hmm. a little better like i'm not too bothered that my map looks the same too much although i'd love for them to do expansions in the future with different maps that'd be really cool but i like that that it, it just kind of creates a different thing that you're shooting for yeah. and different priorities in your head in the hunger whereas uh, it, yeah, Clank is just really like, okay, am I going to 
go all the way and try to get the best thing? Am I going to do a middle thing? Okay, what path am I going to take? Which is great too, but I feel like, I think when you, you probably look at it, um, that may actually end up being fewer possibilities in the end. It's hard to, I mean, I, you know, I'm not going to get into all the, <laughs> the possible different paths you could take at every gig because that's, that's ridiculous, but... Um, well, and again, it depends on who you're playing with because right. if you go for the really expensive things deeper down mm. and someone else just grabs the top thing and heads back out, you know, then, you know, you're likely to get trapped, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. And, like, while your decisions might be affected by what other people are, are doing in the hunger, at the same time, if someone decides to go out and rush back and you're being even just a little more daring, you're like, well, psh, I'm going to beat them. Like, I feel like the hunger does more to encourage you to be a daring person yeah. rather than clank where it's like, if you are one, then cool, you're going to be that. But if, you know, you're maybe a little more timid you might decide, well, it's it's worth doing this, you know, the quick in and out way. Um, whereas if you do that in hunger, it's like, okay, well, now I have to sit at the castle because everyone else is still out hunting and I'm, like, here in safety land. So, um, so yeah, I think it yeah. I think it more encourages daring behavior than, I guess, lets you wait and see if, if you and your friends have, have that, that daring <laughs> instinct in you. You know, the, art is a very subjective thing, and I like the art in both. Uh, a lot. I do like the art and hunger more. I think. Uh, I think I like Clink a little bit more. Do you? Okay. Um, just the, the art style. Um, yeah. It's a little bit more. To me, it's a little bit more classic fantasy art, oh, where sure. yeah. um, hunger is a little bit more um, over dramatized, mm -hmm. cartoonish artwork. Mm. So, I do like both of them, but I like the artwork just a little bit more in Clink. Yeah, that's right. And I, and I have no complaints about yeah. the Clank artwork at all. Like, I think it's really good. Uh, so it's just more like, for some reason, I find those, yeah. those characters... You're drawing and, more to this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. Because honestly, yeah. usually I would think like a, a classic fantasy look would, would usually get me. It must just be something with that artist style where I'm just like, ooh, yeah. I like all these characters. For, it just hits, it hits it's me It's also right. the new, new thing. It is the too, new thing. So. <laughs> and we have to keep that in mind, for sure. Uh, and, you know, th theme-wise, I... I really love high fantasy, yeah. and I love vampires, and I think lately I have just been in more of a vampire mood, so... They went you over with the names. It, the <laughs> names are great, too. I mean, they're just... I, everything should be named. In all your games, if it's a thing that could have a name, name your f***ing <laughs> things. Anyway, rant over. But... And, and Clank actually has no problem. Actually, I will say this for Clank. All, almost all the cards have a little, like, flavor text blurb at the bottom, and I love them. Some of them are really funny, and some of them are, yeah. are a little more serious, but whatever. Either way, I really appreciate that kind of thing in a game. Some people don't pay attention to that at all, which is fine, but I don't understand it. But that's fine. <laughs> do whatever you gotta do. That's fine. Um, so, I guess, getting down to the question. I'm guessing more people probably have Clank in their collection rather than just the Hunger, but what people wanted to know, it seemed a lot of line, is... Is there a reason to own both of them? So, what do you think? Do you think that this is a game that people can find spot for both of them in their collection? I do. Um, I think there there's definitely similarities to, between the two of them, but they also play so differently that I think that you really can have both of them. It, they they really do have a very different feel to them, mm -hmm. um, and you know, it, especially if you have a a good variety of people that you play with. Some people, some groups are going to really gravitate more towards Clank, and some groups are going to really gravitate towards the Hunger more. Especially if you have a variety of people that you play with, I think you should definitely have both in your yeah. shelf. So. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, you know, some people are more concerned about keeping a smaller collection rather than the bigger one, and that sort of thing. But, you know, if you if you like one of them, I, I don't think there's a lot that I could point to and say, well, you probably won't like this one. <laughs> I think there's a good chance if you like one, You'll probably like the other, unless, you know, there's just some personal reason you don't, like, you don't like fantasy, or you don't like this kind of art, or what, uh, I think for, what have you. I think the big things are, if, if you don't like having an option where someone just gets kicked out of the game early, then Clank might not be a good game for you, um, but, you know, it's still fairly, it's not a super long game, it's not like a four hour game. But, you know, if, if the possibility of someone getting kicked out and having nothing to do bothers you, then I would go with Hunger over Clank. But if that's not really that much of an issue, I think both are good games, so. Yeah, and it's 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 not likely to be, like, you're not going to get, like, knocked out in the first turn of Clank. It'd, it'd be a little bit, but you could mm -hmm. end up, if the dragon kills you or what have you, 
you're just kind of sitting there until everyone else is done. By that point, people should be getting close to wrapping up what they're doing, I think, unless you just have the worst damn luck. <laughs> like, if they keep pulling out your yeah. plank cubes, then yeah, you might have I mean, just the There's a possibility. Yeah, oh, like, there is, for sure. For sure, so. So, with all that being said, you know, I, I, I agree that there's room for both if, if, you know, not taking into account whatever limitations you might have. If you like one, you probably will like the other. But, that being said, which do you like better? I prefer the hunger. Um, I I just have more fun with that one. My biggest drawback to Clank is that because, especially if we're comparing the two, I really like that in the hunger I can choose what I want to do. If I want to move up really fast, I can just spend all my points on moving and I don't have to worry about doing any hunting. I can just move. Or if I really want to hunt and I don't have much movement, or very much I can just hunt I don't have to I don't have to move where in Clank you have to get the cards that have movement you have you know you definitely have to have movement in order to move sometimes you even have to have two movements sometimes you have to have a sword so there's a lot and then with some some routes being only one way there and there's locks there's there's all these little things that uh, that can happen so that you're stuck in a spot and you if you just had bad luck drawing cards you can be stuck in that spot for a while and if somebody else is already up at the top it can really mess you up so yeah. that's my ma my major comparison and why I like hunger better yeah makes sense uh you know I cannot remember the spot it got, but Clank was in my top 50 games of all time. You should watch those videos, <laughs> by the way. They're fantastic. Or tolerable. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but, you know, Hunger just came in recently, and having played it quite a bit for our review, I actually think I prefer the Hunger a little more as well. Uh, for all that, you know, Clank, Clank, I at least in my head, is just a little bit more complicated, and while I often kind of like that, and I do still really like like that is not really a drawback to it whatsoever mm -hmm. for me. But I just feel like in the hunger I have, like you were saying, a lot more freedom to do things. I especially like the first turn or two of Clank where like you may not pull out your movement things at all. It's like you're barely like man, even just getting into that dungeon very at first feels like man, what did they do to make it so hard to just travel <laughs> the first you think the first uh, several rooms would be easy to get to, but it doesn't always work out that way. Uh, just because of the cards you're likely to have. Whereas, you know, like you said, if you wanted to in Hunger, you could just use movement, go all the way to the end, and then hunt all the way back if you wanted to. I don't know if that's a good idea, but you could do that. And I just like it. I feel like I can I could do what I want to more. And when it doesn't work out because my hand just gets full of humans, it's because I kind of screwed myself by hunting, over hunting maybe when I shouldn't have. And so it doesn't bother me because it's not the board just being that way. It's like, well... I'm going to get stuck here unless I can do this And one you have thing. some ways to mitigate your hand, too. Mm, yeah. You can digest the humans that are problems. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's not much in Clank to call cards from your hand. I think it's just the one item, I think. I could, there might be a card or two that lets you uh, trash cards. But at least in The Hunger, you know exactly where you can go. And beyond that, there's a few other things that will let you get rid of cards as well. And that's a big part of deck building. Um, but, you know, again, I really like both games. I am not planning to get rid of Clank. I'd still love to try Clank Legacy because I hear it's phenomenal. So I, you know, I, I think they're both great. The hunger right now is calling me more, you know, in another six years or however long Clank has been out, we'll see if, uh, <laughs> if it switches back and maybe Clank becomes the one I'd, I'd prefer. But, uh, for now, uh, hunger is it, but by all means, get them both if you can. I don't think you'll regret that. So with all that being said, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can know about the next time we put out a video. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all around the table again at All Games New and Old. Bye. Bye. We could we could do the copy without the copy, but the creamer. <laughs> oh, to have the creamer. We could do, they just made caffeinated creamer. Yeah. A cup of creamer every morning. <laughs> it I taste fine. I don't know what you're so upset about. I took my hoodie down. <laughs> <laughs> I took my hoodie down. You're not doing the video. Oh, I
I see you made it this far. Perhaps if you enjoyed this video, you would enjoy the companion video to this one, or perhaps this is more your speed. Either way, you should hit this button to subscribe. <laughs> Pleasant dreams.